Hi, my dark hearts. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know all my subscribers that I have inflammatory disease. Basically, I have a disease in my colon. Um, and I'm gonna get a colonoscopy. I mean, I'm not even fucking 50 yet, but I'm gonna have to get a colonoscopy on the November 28th. So that's gonna be fun. Um, I'm really scared, honestly, even though I watched a few vlogs, um, of a girl talking, a few different girls talking about their experience. It was somewhat comforting, but I'm still like really scared because I've heard of the horror story of going under and then you come, when you wake up, but you can't move or talk. You can't like signal to the doctor that you're awake. Um, so I'm probably going to need to ask the doctor if they can hook something up to me that will let them be aware if I do wake up during the uh, colossus, but I am hoping they can instead of putting me fully under. Um, I'm hoping they can put me like, like some, like almost fully under, where I can't feel anything they're doing, but I'll still be awake. Cause I, you know, they always have those story stories where you get put under and you don't come out of it, and I just don't want that to happen to me. Um, it's just it's crazy. So it's just like, cause last time I got put under um, gas, uh, they didn't put me fully out. Um, that's when I had my wisdom teeth pulled out. And that was really scary. It hurt so much. They didn't even put me out properly to the where, not me to the point properly where I wouldn't feel them crushing my wisdom teeth and pulling them out. Um, but that caused me to get be so loopy and say stupid shit like everybody else does. And um, I couldn't even go to the bathroom on my own. Couldn't even get out of the chair on my own. So I don't know. Also, like them putting you under, like it caused you to like your memory so you don't remember everything when you when you're starting to come out of it um hopefully i won't forget anything i would like not to forget i like not to feel anything but i like to remember everything you know <laughs> so that's really cool i'm probably gonna get the chance that they don't put me full out i'll be able to look at the screen and look we'll see what the inside of my ass looks like <laughs> so that's gonna be fun um, but yeah, I look forward to that. I will make it, try to make the best I can a vlog out of that. So I look forward to that. November 28th is when I'm getting it done. I wish I could get it done sooner because I just want to get it over with. I honestly want to find out what the fuck is wrong with me and be done with it. Um, because of the, for a few years my doctor wasn't listening to me. I had a few doctors. They never listened to me about the bloating problem I've been having. And, um, finally I didn't see my primary. I saw another doctor. And then a doctor referred me to a uh, gastrologist. And the gastrologist is the one that's made this possible for me to go have colonoscopy and have an more in-depth test done to me to figure out what's wrong with me. Um, hopefully in this test they can figure out what's wrong with me. I would hate for them to go through this, you know, and then find out that, oh, you're fine. We can't find anything. I hope that's not the case because I have to... Basically, I have to um, fast for like a day or two days. That one girl, she had to fast for like three. I'm hoping I only have to fast like for two um, and then get this colonoscopy done. And I have to drink that disgusting liquid. I hope I can mix it with Gatorade or something, but I don't know if that's even, if I can even do that. Um, because the nurse called me and told me when my, you know, when the colonoscopy is scheduled and then I my down mask for God to ask her like, can I mix up Gatorade or anything? So, I'm gonna have to call them and ask what's what's what. Um, though I'm going there anyways to drop off, cause they already did a blood test on me, and they needed BM samples. So they haven't tested the BM samples. Maybe they could find more clarity as to what's wrong with me with that with that as well. Cause how they found out I had the um, uh, irritable bowel. Nah. You know, I said it first and I can't say it again, but anyways, they found out what I have because of a blood sample they took from me, which is amazing to find out that something's wrong with the colon from my blood. But, um, anyways, yeah, I look forward to that. I'm scared. <laughs> I tried watching, like I said, experiences of other girls I've gotten done that's around my age, but I am still, like, scared that something's gonna go wrong <laughs> I'm trying not to worry like my best friend and her mom keeps telling me and it's just I'm still it 
It's, uh, I just don't like it. I don't like being in non control of my body and my thought, and my brain process. I don't like not being in control of that. Um, you know, I know like when you drink, you're not really in control of your body or same process, but at least I can control how much I drink, control how fucked up I get, <laughs> you know? And then I'm not, you know, I'm just totally saying stupid shit. And embarrassing myself like crazy. And if I do embarrass myself, I'll forget that I did that. I said shit, that was embarrassing. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, look forward to that in my experience. Um, hopefully I'll have a good experience like the few girls I watched on their experience on YouTube. But yeah. So I wanted to update you guys my life since I'm a vlogger and I upload stupid shit. This is part of it. <laughs> anyways, subscribe and all that shit. Ellen, thank you for everyone that subscribed recently. Appreciate it. I can't believe I have 118 subscribers. It's I I'm so happy I you guys subscribe to my channel. Hopefully you enjoy the content that I upload. Anyways, subscribe and all that shit.